The following is a fan-based parody. Mirai Nikki is property of Saikai Suno, Katakawa Shoten, Azrid, and Funimation. Please support the official release. You know Gasai is suffering from... Amnesia! <gasps> Wait, why? Because that was the only plausible reason we could come up with for her not murdering me the instant she realized I was in her house. How long do you think she'll be like this for? Difficult to say. We don't even know what caused the amnesia in the first place. <laughs> Depending on the severity of her condition, she may not regain her memories for several hours, days, or possibly even weeks. Memories back! Aru, what are you doing in my house? Who didn't see that coming? Well, it appears I'd best be on my way now. Good night, Yuki Teru. Get back here, you gay bastard! I'll kill you! Good to be back, everybody! F*** my life. <laughs> Well, the good news is, Aru managed to get away before you could kill him. The bad news is, a few minutes later we got picked up by the cops and taken down to the station. But they still haven't told us why we're here. This whole thing smells rotten to me! Are you sure that's not just your butt? Hey! I have a very clean butt, thank you very much! Wanna do me in it? No! Aww. Anyway, it doesn't matter why we're here, Yuki. The important thing now is that we find a way to escape. But before we do that, I need something that I can use as a weapon. We're in a police station. Do you really expect to find a makeshift weapon just lying around? Hey, look! A fire extinguisher! No! Mr. Amano, the chief will see you now. If you want Yuki, you'll have to go through me first! Bring it, biatch! You know, do me a favor. Just wait here until I get back. And for the love of God, don't go attacking anybody. But Yuki, what if Mr. Detective tries to kill you? You're just being paranoid. Remember, this is Mr. Detective we're talking about. I mean, it's not like he had us brought all the way down here just to have us killed. Oh my god, he had us brought all the way down here just to have us killed. Now, you probably think I'm a real bastard for doing this to you, boy. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you a chance to walk out of here alive. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a little game called Russian Roulette. You see, there's only one bullet in this here chamber. Now I'm going to take turns pointing the gun at each of us and pulling the trigger until it fires and one of us dies. I'm no lawyer, but I'm pretty sure shooting an unarmed child is murder. Nope. If I kill you in here, it's suicide by cop. But what if you kill yourself? Same thing! Hey, you three! <gasps> <gasps> Ah. Now I just need to get rid of these two idiots, and then I can go save Yuki! And so then I said, peripheral vision? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious! Uh, yeah. Anyway, I gotta go take a piss. Keep an eye on the dead-eyed girl clutching the fire extinguisher until I get back, would ya? Sure thing! Make sure she doesn't try and sneak up behind me, hit me over the head with the fire extinguisher, and steal my gun. That'd be pretty stupid and embarrassing. Don't worry, Steve. I won't let anything happen to you! That guy just gave me a great idea! Trade you this for your firearms! You've got yourself a deal! Sucker! I would've traded these for a pack of bubblegum! 23 tries and we're both still alive and kicking. But the night is young, boy. Let's keep the ball rolling. Looks like I ain't taking no dirt nap just yet. Hold that thought. How the hell did you get in here? Their security sucks. How'd you get those guns? Same answer. Boss, you'll never believe what I just got. Damn it! I was tricked again! Come on, Yuki. We're busting out of here. And this officer's just volunteered to be our meat shield. Hey! I'm a detective. Whatever. Look! There they go! After them! No, 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 no. They're too fast. We'll never catch up to them now. Yeah, you're right. Wanna grab a beer? Hell yeah! Alright, nobody move! My gun isn't loaded and I'm not wearing a bulletproof vest. My forthrightness is my undoing. They are the mummy who's protecting 25 BC. They are the mummy who's protectors for the rhapsodies. They are the mummies erected by the crystal bay. They are the mummies protectors of the world today. To the top floor of the department store. You know, why did we run all the way up to the roof? I don't know. I was following Officer Meat Shield. Detective! Whatever. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Obviously, we can't just go jumping off. Why not? Um, probably because we die? I mean, it's not like there's gonna be a truck or something parked below us that'd break our fall. Hey, look! There's a truck parked right below us! No! 
Well, not only did we survive, but we somehow managed to recover from the impact of the landing, scale the outer walls, and flee the area. All before anybody even tried to catch us. Their security sucks! Will you finish peeing already? Done! Okay, this is weird. Even though this shed is now ripe with the scent of fresh urine, I swear I can smell donuts coming from outside. Look, I was right! That woman's carrying donuts! And somehow I could smell them from way over here. On top of the smell of fresh urine. Come on, Yuki! Let's follow her and steal them! But we're supposed to be hiding from the police. Screw that, I'm hungry! Empty hospitals are... Good. You'd think with a couple of fugitives on the run, they'd increase the security around here. And by that, I mean actually have security. Wait, you know, don't run too far ahead! How come? Code Blue! What was that? It felt like a bomb just went off right behind me. Eh, it was probably nothing. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two kids who thwarted my attempts to blow up a high school for no reason, how the heck have you been? Been better. So, what the hell are you doing around here anyway? Oh, nothing much. Just stealing me some good old-fashioned painkillers. Oh, uh, why? Because getting your eye ripped out hurts like a bitch. When did that happen? Remember the anorexic Power Ranger? Justice! Thanks for killing him, by the way. Thanks for killing who now? Listen, I love reminiscing just as much as the next guy, but can we find a way to get across this hole before the floor collapses? How? It's not like there's gonna be something just lying around that we can use to bridge the gap. Hey, look! A ladder! No! And she nearly kills us. Welcome to my world. Hold on a second, kid. Yo. I'm coming for you, Ninth. Oh, fuck. You're dead. You hear me? You're fucking dead. You and those meddling kids. Zoinks! So what are you wearing? Nice going, kid. I spent all that time trying to stay under the radar, and then you and your little girlfriend go and lead that stupid detective right to me. Yeah, I'm sure it's our fault that he found you, and it has nothing at all to do with the fact that you just blew up the hospital! Ouch. Okay, clearly the only way we're gonna make it out of this alive is if we all work together. Fuck that! Did I mention there'd be donuts? No. You're lucky I'm really hungry! Do you even have donuts? No, but I know a guy who does, and he won't mind sharing them either. How come? Are you sure you don't want any? The donuts you stole from a terminally ill kid? Positive. What? It's not like he's eating them. Yeah, come on, Yuki! You people disgust me. Hey, stop eating those donuts! They're for my son when he wakes up! Lady, like I told you last week and the week before that, your son's a fucking vegetable. No, no he's not. He's just sleeping, that's all. You'll see. He's going to wake up any minute now. And then, we'll all go home. And then, my husband won't leave me. And we'll all be one big happy family again! <laughs> what a crazy bitch! Quiet, you. What is with all the noise outside? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about him. Idiot! Gonna save the world today. The Egyptian way. <laughs> Did you kill him? I found this gun! <laughs> Look at his gun! Is it yours? Well, anyways, hey, you wanna grab a beer? Hell yeah, f my wife! <laughs>